So where did that tell me where we are? The man. It's a traditional houses here. Very uh, high class place. Expensive to buy houses and uh, you know only rich people live here. Yeah. Houses are traditional. It's only villas. You don't, you don't find a lot of houses. You find, but not a lot. <laughs> Okay. Architecture here is nice. It's very well. nice, the weather, because in summer it's not so hot, as you can see. Because it's uh, a little bit higher in the mountains, yeah? Mm -hmm. We need about 20 minutes to get here from, from Beirut. Yes, it's very cool. So you can feel the difference of the climate, yeah. it's like more nice. Now it's starting nice. to get cold. Yeah. A lot of restaurants, a lot of places to, to hang around. This is a one example of these traditional Lebanese houses. Very nice architecture. Brummana is located in the Lebanese mountains, 20 kilometers east of Beirut, at an altitude of 800 meters above sea level. It is famous for its traditional Lebanese architecture, mild climate, and spectacular landscapes. It is called the City of Flowers, which largely cover charming houses. Considered the main summer resort in the country, it attracts many Lebanese for day and weekend trips. People come here to relax from the heat and noise of the capital. You will find here many restaurants, hotels and guest houses. The town is also home to a prestigious private British high school, one of the best in the country. The majority of the city's inhabitants are Christians, namely Maronite and Greek Orthodox, with a small Jewish minority. Romana is also famous for its pine forests and rich nature. It is considered the green lungs of the region. Oh, this is the view from Brumana. Over there you have school and a football pitch. And over there you have Beirut. I don't know if it's visible, but over, over here is uh, Mediterranean Sea starts and over there is Beirut. Usually when the weather is better and there is no storm, uh, you can see from this, from this place this beautiful view. Unfortunately, we don't have a sidewalk here to, to walk properly. You have to walk on the street. This is one thing I don't like, personally, that there is no place for, for walking. And here, there is a private school in Brumana. We could enter here only because we asked the security man. He told us, okay, okay, but only, you know, be not quick. be quick. <laughs> no, but we enter because this building catch our attention from outside. It's very nice as well. And from there, I think there is also a nice view. Look, this is very old olive tree. Very old. Olive trees are known to to be trees that, that they are living for a long time very long time even thousand years old in lebanon you have these trees which are which looks like a, a cauliflower a little bit we saw them uh, especially in uh, in this place where we went jazin yes jazin and Pukasin. they are known for for having this but this region also is known Yes. Look, it's very beautiful. <laughs> we enter a coffee shop to take a coffee. It's a unicorn coffee house. It looks very nice, like not in Lebanon. It's like in the USA or something like this. This furnishing inside. It's nice. We'll check how the coffee is. Tastes. In this coffee shop, we paid six dollars for uh, for these two coffees, cappuccinos. two cappuccinos. Yeah. The weird thing right now in Lebanon is that because of the current economical crisis and uh, the valuation of the currency, and right now we have People big inflation. Everything when you go to the shops are in the US dollars, and depending on the day, they put exchange rate for the day. They consider these prices in Lebanese according to the current value of US dollars. So right now you can pay 
either in uh, US dollars or in uh, Lebanese pounds. Right now, it's uh, I think 97,000. Okay, 94. But remember when we came, it was 97. So within a couple of days, value of currency strengthened a little bit. Imagine like four years ago, for one dollar you get uh, 1,500 Lebanese pounds. Right now you have 96,000. From 1.5 Yeah, incredible. So all this place, this Brumana, the main street, is full of restaurants, coffee shops. So if you if you go there, you have variety of options to eat in good places. The prices are like in nice. like in Beirut. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, it's a very nice place to visit for two hours maybe to eat something good and to walk on this. Street. Oh, this is an example of a cedar tree over here. The same cedar tree that you can find on the Lebanese flag. This is this municipality of Brumana. Cedar tree, which is uh, the most known tree from Lebanon, of course, the symbol of Lebanon. In the past, it was growing all over uh, Lebanese mountains and it was well known for its strength, for its durability and from this cedar wood the Phoenicians were constructing their ships and that's why they were able to develop the, the trade with all like Mediterranean countries like Greece and they were able to, to establish their colonies in the Mediterranean because of this ships made from this wood. Even this wood was exported to countries like Egypt in the past. There were exchanges between Phoenician cities, cedars, for example, for papyrus. That's why, for example, name Byblos it came from a Greek uh, name of papyrus. The, the city was importer of papyrus from Egypt and they were exchanging it for, for cedar wood. Yes. So this tree is very important here in Lebanon. Right now they're only in some reserves because it was cut by invaders, by Greeks, by uh, Romans. They were cutting these trees. Later, even in 19th century, when Ottomans were occupying this territory, they were also cutting this tree to, to construct, for example, railway. In Lebanon, you can see this uh, market near the main road selling fruits and so on. When I compare the prices uh, to those in Poland, here it's much more cheaper. I think four times. For example, the, the price of tomatoes, of fruits. I think because the, the climate here is, uh, is very warm. So you don't have to import or to grow in the greenhouses. Sometimes yeah. in winter. Sometimes, yes, in winter. And we have to almost all year. Brumana is one of many towns near Beirut that are worth visiting. In just half an hour we are able to move from the Lebanese capital to the wild mountains, completely changing the surroundings. It is unusual in Lebanon that in such a small area of only 10,452 square kilometers we have such diverse landscapes, bustling cities, azure sea, mountain peaks, fertile valleys and virgin forests. It is a country famous not only for its nature, but also for its rich history and culture, which is an extraordinary mixture of civilizations, where everyone will find something for themselves. I invite you to discover my channel where you can see other beautiful places in this country. So if you are interested in exploring Lebanon, please subscribe. See you!